Here are 30 most commonly asked Miskel related interview questions, along with detailed answers. 1. What is MySQL? Answer MySQL is an open source relational database management system or DMs that uses structured query language, Skull. It is widely used for managing and manipulating data in various types of applications. 2. Explain the difference between char and varchar in MySQL. Answer, char is a fixed length string, while varchar is a variable length string. Char always reserves the specified length, padding with spaces if necessary, while varchar only stores the actual data, saving space. 3. What is the purpose of the primary key constraint in MySQL? Answer, the primary key constraint uniquely identifies each record in a table. It ensures that the values in the specified columns are unique and cannot be null. 4. How can you create an index in MySQL, and what is its significance? Answer, use the create index statement to create an index. Indexes improve query performance by allowing the database engine to locate and retrieve rows more efficiently. 5. Explain the difference between MySum and Inod storage engines. Answer. MySum is suitable for read-heavy operations, lacks support for transactions, and doesn't enforce foreign key constraints. Inod is ACID compliant, supports transactions, and enforces foreign key constraints making it suitable for transactional applications. 6. What is normalization, and why is it important in database design? Answer. Normalization is the process of organizing data to minimize redundancy and dependency. It helps in achieving data integrity, reducing data anomalies, and optimizing database structure. 7. How do you backup and restore a MySQL database? Answer. Use MiskelDump to create a backup. MiskelDump U username PD name backup skull. To restore, use Miskel U username PD name backup skull. 8. Explain the purpose of the auto increment attribute in MySQL. Answer. Auto increment is used to automatically generate unique integer values for a column. It is commonly used for primary key columns to ensure each row has a unique identifier. 9. What is the difference between union and union? All in MySQL. Answer. Union returns distinct rows from the result sets of two or more select statements. While union all returns all rows, including duplicates. 10. How can you find and eliminate duplicate rows in a MySQL table? Answer. Use the group by clause to find duplicates and delete or select distinct to eliminate them. 11. Explain the purpose of the foreign key constraint in MySQL. Answer. The foreign key constraint establishes a link between two tables by referencing the primary key of one table in another. It enforces referential integrity. 12. What is the role of the explained statement in MySQL? Answer. The explained statement provides information about how MySQL executes a select statement. Showing the execution plan, indexes used, and possible optimizations. 13. How do you implement full text search in MySQL? Answer. Use the full text index and the match against syntax for full text search. For example, select from table name where match column name against search term. 14. Explain the concept of ACID properties in the context of database transactions. Answer. ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. It ensures that database transactions are treated as indivisible units. Atomicity. Maintain data integrity, consistency. Execute independently isolation, and persist even after system failures. Durability. These properties collectively ensure reliable and secure transaction processing. 15. How can you optimize a MySQL query for better performance? Answer. Optimization techniques include using indexes, avoiding select, optimizing joins, utilizing proper data types, and analyzing the query execution plan with tools like Explain. 16. Explain the purpose of the union operator in MySQL. 
Answer. The union operator combines the result sets of two or more select statements into a single result set, eliminating duplicates by default. 17. What is the significance of the show statement in MySQL? Answer. The show statement is used to display information about databases, tables, columns, and other MISCL related details. For example, show databases. 18. How do you handle transactions in MySQL? Answer. Use the begin, commit, and rollback statements to manage transactions. Transactions ensure the atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability ACID properties. 19. Explain the purpose of the limit clause in MySQL queries. Answer. The limit clause restricts the number of rows returned by a query. It is often used for pagination or to retrieve a specific range of rows. 20. What is a stored procedure in MySQL, and how do you create one? Answer. A stored procedure is a set of skull statements that can be executed with a single call. Create one using the create procedure statement, specifying the skull statements within. 21. How can you handle errors in MySQL stored procedures? Answer. Use declare to define a handler, and declare exit handler or declare continue handler to specify actions in case of errors. For example, declare continue handler for SCL exception. Begin error handling logic. End. 22. What is the purpose of the join clause in MySQL and explain different types of joins? Answer. The join clause combines rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. Types of joins include inner join, left join or left outer join, right join or right outer join, and full join or full outer join. 23. Explain the use of triggers in MySQL. Answer. Triggers are stored programs executed automatically when an event insert, update, delete occurs on a table. They are used for enforcing business rules or logging changes. 24. What is the role of the group concat function in MySQL? Answer. Group concat is an aggregate function that concatenates values from multiple rows into a single string. It is often used with the group by clause. 25. How do you grant and revoke privileges in MySQL? Answer. Use the grant statement to give privileges to users and revoke to take them away. For example, Grant select on database name table name to user at host. 26. Explain the purpose of the inum data type in MySQL. Answer. The inum data type is used for defining enumerated lists of values. It restricts the column to values defined in the enumeration. 27. How can you import and export data in MySQL? Answer. Use load data in file to import data from a file and select into out file to export data to a file. For example, load data in file path to file CSV into table table name fields terminated by lines terminated by. 28. Explain the concept of normalization and denormalization in the context of database design. Answer. Normalization is the process of organizing data to minimize redundancy. While denormalization involves intentionally introducing redundancy for performance or simplicity reasons. 29. What is the purpose of the date data type in MySQL, and how is it different from date time? Answer. The date data type stores dates in YAI MMDD format, while date time stores both date and time in YAI MMDDHH MM SS format. Date is suitable when only the date is required. 30. How do you find the version of MySQL you are running? Answer. Use the select version statement to retrieve the MySQL server version. These MySQL interview questions cover a broad range of topics, including skull queries, database design, optimization, and administration. Adapt the responses based on the specific version of MySQL and the context of the organization's usage. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel.
It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.